currently at $39.79 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $57 a share in the next 12 months. Hey guys, this is March 25th through 28th winning stocks. And we want to see how the stocks on our watch list as well as the market overall did this week. So, we know we start off with the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ to see the state of the entire market during the week. And we see that although on the S&P 500 or the SPY, we had a couple of sideways weeks. It's moved up these last two weeks, only slightly this week, but still it was a positive week. As for the Dow, it was a positive week again. We see three positive weeks. And last week it moved up, but it really moved down towards the end of the week. It sort of like gave up half the gains. It took those gains back this week. As far as the NASDAQ, the last week was a positive week. This week was as well, although it, it really didn't move above last week. So let's see the stocks on our watch list and what the state of those are. One we have is Marriott Vacations. And we know these are not all the stocks on my watch list. These are just the ones that we see either moving up or moving sideways this week. We saw with Marriott Vacations. It's a one star. I break the stocks down into three tiers. They're either a three star which is the top tier most fundamentally sound two star which is beneath that fundamentally sound but not as fundamentally sound as the three stars and one star the least fundamentally sound on the watch list still fundamentally sound enough to make the watch list but the least fundamentally sound on the watch list marriott vacations is a one star they're currently at $107.73 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $114 a share in the next 12 months. We see they sort of moved in a sideways pattern, broke out and moved higher, moved sideways a couple of weeks, and then moved higher, and they've been moving higher since. They had another move this week, but they're near the estimation that Yahoo Analyst has for them. Not saying that's the highest they can move to. They may move a little higher, but for the reasons that they find, Yahoo Analysts estimate they can go as high as 114 this year. Forward Air Corporation. They are a three star, currently at $31.11 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $39.80. Now they really dropped a few, I guess, months back, moved sideways a little bit and started dropping again. And now they're really down. I mean, after they really dropped, they were in the $60 range. Now they're in the $30 range. But we see two green candles, one here, another green candle here. We want to see if it starts moving sideways, continues to move down, or starts to move up at this point. Next, we have Method Electronics, another one that's really been moving down.
see a big move down here, big move down here, then a big move down here, kept going down. We finally see some green, but it's not much. It's not as if we see a week or anything. We just see a little bit of green, a long tail, and a little bit of green to start the week. They're currently at a staggering $12.18 a share. They're a one star. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $16.50 a share in the next 12 months. Advan 6 Inc. They are a two star. Currently at $28.60 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $37.33 a share in the next 12 months. They've been moving, they moved up a little went back down overall it looks like a sideways pattern up again this week we want to see if the sideways pattern continues if they start to move down or they start to move up from this point darling ingredients they are a two star currently at forty six dollars and fifty one cents a share Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $64.35 a share in the next 12 months. Now, this company has had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 positive weeks. They weren't big moves, but they were positive moves. Chevron Corporation, they are a one star, currently at $157.74 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $162.79 in the next 12 months. They've been moving sort of sideways, a little up. So we want to see what they're going to do moving forwards. They're going to continue sideways, drop, or continue to move up. They actually have an earnings report coming out April 26th or late. we could say within that week. And as we know, an earnings report... Is sort of like going to a casino. An earnings report is sort of like the report card kids would get, but for businesses. It's released every quarter. And if it comes out with good news about the company, the stock price can really jump. If it comes out with bad news about the company, the stock price can really drop. MGP Ingredients, they are a two-star, currently at $86.13 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $114.86 in the next 12 months. Now, they have been moving in a sideways pattern they dropped a bit and after the drop i actually had this for one of our option picks but when it didn't move up enough i let it go and told you guys about it but they're moving in a sideways pattern now we want to see what they do going forward Archer Daniels Midland, they really dropped here, 
sort of move sideways a little and then up for one, two weeks and they're starting this week positive. They're a one star currently at $62.81 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $64 a share in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report coming out on April 23rd or the week thereof. Devon Energy. It is a one star. Currently at $50.18 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $53.61 a share in the next 12 months. Now they have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe that's eight positive weeks. Not much movement. The moves weren't big moves, but they were eight positive eight positive moves in the last couple of months. Yum China Holdings. We would know of them as KFC, Taco Bell, and um, what's the other one? KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. But that would be Yum Brands in America. In China, it's Yum China Holdings. Same three restaurants and a few others. That's Yum China Holdings. They are a one star. Currently at $39.79 a share. See, they moved up, dropped back, a big drop that week. Now this last, this week, they're starting to move up. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $57 a share in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report coming out on April 29th. Exxon Mobil. They are a one star. Currently at $116.24 a share. And they are already over the price per share that Yahoo analysts estimated, which is $114.92 a share. They have an earnings report coming out on April 3rd. And notice they've moved up one, two, three, four, five, around seven weeks. So we may be removing them from the watch list after this week. Utah Medical Products. They are a three star. They're currently at $71.11 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate as to where they can move up. But my estimate based on P.E. ratios is that they can move up to $104.02 a share in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report coming out on April 23rd or the week of. And notice they were moving down a bit. Finally, we see some green here at the bottom. So the question is, will they continue down, move sideways, or start on their pathway up? <laughs> Air Products and Chemicals. They are a two-star. Currently at $242.27 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $264.95 a share in the next 12 months. 
Now, they had a disappointing earnings report that made them drop dramatically. But in the next few weeks, they really moved up, dropped last week, but started up again so far this week. And for those who follow this series, you would know that I actually suggested this in my This Week's Option Pick series. So I put out a This Week's Option Picks on the channel and as well, where I choose one stock from This Week's Stock Winners for an option pick. And let's look at some of the results of that. So here we see Air Products and um, I bought them on February 9th with a June 21st expiration and a $220 strike price. I bought them for $1,000. $320.66. I sold them on March 19th, a month and 10 days later, for $2,719.32. So I had a $1,398.66 gain, or a 105.90 cent gain in a month and 10 days. Next, I bought MGPI or MGP ingredients. That one wasn't moving as expected. I bought it on February 28th, sold it on March 6th because it wasn't moving as expected, but still made a 66.67 cents gain or 7.74 percent gain. The next one was, well actually, at this stage, I changed the channel around slightly. We're now on the YouTube channel. I only do a this month's option pick. One option pick a month, but this week's option picks is still inside of my Patreon channel. So for $25 a month, you still get access to all of my weekly option picks. And so for this one, I held it for, I bought it March 8th, sold it March 12th, four days later. That was a $73.67 gain, or 6.40% gain. Then, this one, like I said in my Patreon channel, so not revealing the names, but you could see the screenshot from the brokerage account. Bought it on, I actually bought two options for $1,729.32. But then on the, bought it on the 18th, sold it seven days later on the 25th. And that was, I actually sold one for $824.33. But I didn't realize I bought two and I had left one open. So I sold the other one, got a little less for it, $764.33. I made $140.65 on that options trade, or 8.13% in seven days. Lastly, there's one that I'm still holding, been holding it for 16 days now, and 
I bought it for 800 actually I bought two of them for $839 and 32 cents and right now I'm in profit $580 and 68 cents that's a 69.18% gain in 16 days and I'm hoping it still continues to go up so guys you're you're here in the YouTube channel you're getting access to this week's winning stocks for free on YouTube as well as you have free action access to this month's option pick one option pick a month but if you want more picks if you want access to this week's option picks it's only $25 a month in the patreon channel you see the link when you go to Uncle Dwayne's watch list the home page for my YouTube channel you'll see the link for patreon that you can click on to get into it and once you do that if you go to me or email me uncle Dwayne's watch list at gmail.com you can email me your name and phone number I'll also add you to my whatsapp group now the benefit of being in the whatsapp group is that when I put things on YouTube I generally do them at night so when things calm down everything is quiet at night I'll let you know what things I found that's going on with the market but if you're inside of my whatsapp group I can send that information to you any time of the day so if there's something that comes up there's a great opportunity to buy it the people who are following me on YouTube will know about it that night but I may have already bought it in the day and I've already told my whatsapp group about it in the day and they were able to take advantage of it that day as well rather than having to wait till the next day or a couple of days later when they finally check YouTube in any event let's continue with this watch list we have CSG systems they are a two star currently moving they moved down a little but overall they've been going sort of sideways they're currently at fifty one dollars and fifty four cents a share Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to sixty six dollars and forty four cents a share in the next 12 months we have Ida Corp Inc they are a two star currently at ninety two dollars and eighty nine cents a share Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to ninety seven dollars and fourteen cents a share in the next 12 months they actually had a green handle here they moved up here they were down last week but so far this week they did a decent move up as well Haymanetics they were another option pick which expected to move up didn't move up so dropped out of it early currently at their two star currently at $85 and 35 cents a share Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $105 and 57 cents a share and they've been positive for this second week Paycom they are a three star 
currently at $199.01 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $201.85 a share in the next 12 months. They moved up a little starting sideways with the up and down. They're on their third positive week. We can see what they do moving forward. Concentrics Corporation. They, they are a no star. But I added them to the watch list anyway. Usually if they're no stars, I don't add them. But this one I did. Currently at $66.22 a share. We saw a positive week last week. Moved up some this week. They're giving a dividend on April 25th. You have to own them by April 25th to be eligible for this dividend. And that dividend is 30 cents a share. Malibu Boats, they are a three-star, currently at $43.28 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $48.29 a share in the next 12 months. And we see them positive for the second straight week. ConMed Corporation. They are a one star. I just recently dropped the analysis for them in the website, uh, in the YouTube channel. They are currently at $80.08 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $110.57 a share in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report coming out on April 24th, and we see that they were moving down one positive week, then they continue to drop another positive week, continue to drop now another positive week. We want to see if they start on their climb up continue to move sideways or move down some more so that's it for our watch list this week guys look forward to speaking to you in the next video and have a great night